The hour of 10 o'clock having arrived, this hearing of the Science, Space, and Technology Committee is hereby convened. I'd like to begin today by thanking Chairman Lucas and Ranking Member Lofgren for allowing both myself and Ms. Fucci to lead this full committee hearing. And I'm very excited about the topic we're going to be discussing today. This hearing focuses on a topic of great importance both to me and to this committee, which is to review the oversight and investigative efforts of the inspectors general within each agency within the jurisdiction of our committee. The role of the OIG in these agencies is an essential one, which is to protect the American taxpayer by working to identify federal waste, fraud, and mismanagement. Inspectors general have a strong historical precedent in our nation. IGs are meant to be the watchdogs for Congress and the American taxpayer. The independent oversight capability the IG wields to expose waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement is their core responsibility. It's critical to the independence of inspectors general that this independence is maintained. IGs are meant to be in their parent agencies, but not of their parent agencies, or frankly, of any administration. They're meant to be apolitical and set apart in order to do the hard task of publicly highlighting the flaws of their parent agencies. And I know that that is not an easy one. Helping to achieve transparency and accountability within an administration is a difficult but a very necessary role that the IG leads. Each agency has a very different mission and goal, which makes it challenging to have a single, all-encompassing metric to evaluate the effectiveness of each IG. I hope that this hearing will be an opportunity to discuss the of the Inspector General should be measured and where those offices currently stand. This hearing is also a chance to highlight the important work done by each of the offices here before us today. I'd particularly like to highlight the oversight work surrounding the growing threat to our cybersecurity and research integrity standards. The COVID-19 pandemic has pushed technologies forward and implemented remote capabilities far sooner than any of us had anticipated. Hearing from each of you today on the oversight efforts your agencies have taken to enhance cybersecurity standards and promote research integrity is particularly important to me. I hope that this topic can be effectively discussed as it relates to the security of passwords and protective internal practices of each of the agencies that you represent. This is likely to be a discussion for future hearings as well. I certainly hope it will be, but I encourage conversations on this topic today. Several of the agencies here today before us have received millions, if not billions, of federal dollars to advance research and development initiatives. Massive spending bills, such as the Infrastructure Investments and Job Acts, CHIPS and Science Act, and the Inflation Reduction Act have recently become law and have provided agencies with new statutory mandates as well as research and development funds to advance innovation in our country. However, more spending also means more opportunities for mismanagement of those taxpayer funds, making the IG's role more important than ever. I'd like to hear how each IG has already begun to provide oversight of these taxpayer funds, as well as future oversight plans in these areas. It's critical as new programs and funds are implemented that every proper measure is taken to safeguard them from fraud and abuse. This hearing also serves as an opportunity for this committee to emphasize the various findings the IGs have reported on in areas that have raised considerable concerns. Just a few issues we hope to address here include the law enforcement presence and mitigation efforts of sexual assault and harassment allegations in the Antarctic, the extent of work from home policies that are in place, and various award and procurement issues as we move closer to the congressional appropriations season. At this time, I would like to welcome our esteemed witnesses and thank you all for joining us. I'm looking forward to a robust discussion with each of you, and I'm hopeful our conversation today will highlight the good work being done in accountability and transparency, and hope it, hope, uh, it also strengthens your oversight and investigatory efforts. So uh, thank you very much for being here, and I'll now recognize my ranking member, the gentlewoman from North Carolina, for five minutes for her opening statement. 